But back in here inside Medler Field, Connor Throneberry coming in for the Nittany Lions, the righty 386 ERA. Coming in now for Penn State after Partridge. Great afternoon, Brian, for Partridge. Yeah, I thought he started really strong. Pitched out of a little jam in the fourth by getting a strike out of leadoff man Toley. Back to back strikeouts to start the fifth. Allowed an infield hit in the fifth. Got a pop out, but after Penn State extends its lead to four here on a solo bomb by Kyle Hannon to right center. Back to back box to start the sixth with a four run lead. That's going to lead to the quick hook anytime. And the first pitch by Throneberry in there for a strike. Back to back walks for the Bearcats. I know the boys over the weekend were talking about the, the size and athleticism of Penn State's pitching staff. And here's another example at six foot six. Very tall, that one popped up out of play. Foul, 0-2 now. So it's throwing very throwing strikes early here is the right. Yeah, he's hard and heavy over the top. And that delivery, where it comes from. Ball can get on you a little bit. 0-2 count to Riley. The 0-2, that one swung on in line, a looper right to second base. Good play by Kyle Hannon to get the out one down now for the a yeah, Fastball, a little arm side run on it. Came inside on the hands there, Jan. We got that little flare pop up. Actually, infield fly was called on the play. Maybe a bit surprising, but Hannon drifting back. Plenty of time to get there for out number one. It was a good pitch by Throneberry. He went right after the hitter after Partridge issued a couple of pair of free passes. One down here in the top of the sixth. Throw Barry the first pitch there. In there for a strike to Corey. What are those jerseys? Corey 0 for 2 on the day. A pop out to right and left field. No. Throw Barry the 0-1 delivery. Now a line right to the shortstop. Tetches second for one and over through first for the double play. Great play there by the Nittany Lions. It was Jay Harry, the shortstop, making a play to turn two. And Penn State retires the side as they get the double play to move us to the bottom of the six. Penn State leads 5-1 here at Medler Field. This is Penn State Baseball. Anthony Steele into the Pepsi Picnic Pavilion in left, back in the fourth. Kyle Hannon added a solo shot in the fifth. And Connor Throneberry back out there now for the top of the seventh. Gets the top of the Binghamton lineup, although it is a lineup that has changed a bit for Tim Sinicki since the start of this ballgame. Throneberry came on in the sixth, inherited a pair of runners walked by Ryan Partridge with no outs to start the sixth. Got Riley the catcher to pop out, and then Isaiah Corey the ground into a double play to end the frame. He is just throwing all strikes as he starts. Kevin Tully with a fastball strike across the outside corner. Yeah, the righty, he's throwing hard right down the, right into the zone. It's very hittable, but it's very hard to make that contact. Oh, one, jinxed him, skipped on in. One ball and a strike. Their baseman, Ben Kaler, is up at third. Jay Harry deep at shortstop, pulled over behind the second base bag. Headed pretty deep at second as well. 1-1 one, one is swung on and missed. Fooled him on the breaking ball. Had him out in front. Pitch probably up and out of the zone. Totally chases. One ball and two strikes. Totally here in the ball game is one for three. Singled and scored in the third. Pitch swung on and grounded towards second. Handed to his left. Backing up onto the outfield grass. Gets a nice belt high hop. Flicks on to first in time to get Tully. And that's out number one for Throneberry. Here to start the visiting center. And his top of the lineup just hasn't been able to get it going for Binghamton credit Penn State's defense and their pitching. They've been really good. Grounding out there was Tully. And just the pitching, it's by, been by committee, but they've been really good and really confident against this top of the order. And despite some moving parts, Penn State's had a strong year defensively so far. Came into this game fielding at a 972 clip, pushing the butt to the first base side. Throneberry off the mound, shovels to first, not in time, as Christian Perez just beats it out. Good play by Throneberry to get to that baseball was really their only chance as he bunted it past the pitcher on the right side and nearly, and nearly got Perez. And I mean, Perez's first hit of the year was 0 for 4 going into that with one run scored and five games appeared in. And Christian Perez able to get on there with the bunt, surprising the Penn State defense a little bit. And Maddenberg is going to pitch hit now as well. So Sanicki emptying his bench, trying to get some guys some ABs here in this midweek game. He's going to pitch hit for Mike Gunning, man on first, one out here in the seventh. Five to one, Penn State leads it. First pitch to Maddenberg is down and in. Left-handed hitter at the dish. He is 0 for 5 this season. 
One out, 5-1 Nittany Lions, top of the seventh. One ball and no strikes. Throw Barry sets below the belt. Kicks comes up with a 1-0. Fastball strike on the outside corner. The count is even at 1-1. One one. Sophomore on the bump, 6'6", six six, 235 pounds, out of Marquette Senior High School in St. Louis, Missouri. Middle infield at double play depth. Tosses over to first, but Perez dives back in ahead of the tag from Anthony Steele, holding him on there. Right fielder Gerlot, not all that deep here with Maddenberg up. Here straight away, Piacentino, fairly deep in center. The same for Kelly around and left. From Barry's 1 1 is swung on and lined out to center. Piacentino started back now, comes in. He's got a beat on it, makes the easy catch. It's out number two. Again, throw Barry. He's throwing for contact, making it try to hit him. He's going to throw strikes. That one just popped right out to Piacentino in center. Easy play for out number two. Now, Kevin Gazelle is up at Adam, and he's had a great day. He is 3 4 3 here today. Single to center back in the second, to right center in the third, and had infield hit back in the fifth. All Penn State, though, up by four here, top of the seventh. Two outs and a man on first. Norberry's pitch swung off, popped up. Foul out of play. Down the right side near the Penn State bullpen. Yeah, Gasol, he's been very active as well at the same time. We've seen him swing a lot at these first pitch. We've seen a lot of Bearcats players really swinging early. It's been an aggressive approach all day for Binghamton. They've had success with it so far this year. Calentulio has a baseball, by the way. He's warming up in the Nittany Lion pen. Oh, what? So on Lion, right field side. Gerlach going back. He's not going to get it. It's down, and it's a fair ball. It skips up and off the base of the fence. Perez to 30. gets a late stop sign. The relay comes in. And it's a double for Gazelle. He is four for four today. Shot that one the other way into the right field corner. And Binghamton with runners on second and third and two outs here in the seventh. And they are now a base hit away from cutting the deficit in half. Yeah, just like that, you look kind of just around, just kind of getting a little complacent out here. If you're Binghamton empty in the bench, thinking maybe they're starting to pack it in. Now you're one in away, scoring two, getting an opportunity to really get back in this game. And Gasell stays hot, as you said, four for four. And Bade is up. He's batting 333 this year, but 500 with runners in scoring position. Thronberry going right at him. Starts him with the breaking ball strike. Zach Taylor is on deck. So it's Bade, then Taylor. First base is open here for Binghamton. Oh, one swung on, fouled straight back. Had a good hack there at that pitch. No balls and two strikes, two outs. Perez the runner at third, Gazelle out at second. And even with runners in scoring position, you still see Thronberry sticking to his methods, throwing strikes really hard down the middle, forcing contact. Of the nine hits today for Binghamton, Gazelle's double the first extra base hit. Penn State up 5 1, two outs, two on. 0 2, breaking ball, soars in high. One ball and two strikes on Devin Bade, sophomore from Southington, Connecticut. Came into this ball game four for his last 18 over the last five games. Does have a hit and brought home the only run today with a sack fly. One, two. Swung off, popped up. Left side. This could be trouble. Kelly long run. Harry going back. Kelly in and in foul ground. Scampers over and makes the catch. Long run for Taven Kelly there. Hauls it in. And that ends the inning. For Binghamton, no runs on a pair of hits. There were no errors. And two are left in scoring position. We're through six and a half. It's stretch time here at Medler Field at Lebron Park. Penn State leads at five to one. This is Penn State baseball.